football players can measure their success and improvement on the field. Individual stats, team wins, and championships can tell them how far they've come. But what about after the season? When there are no games, there are no stats, just training. For the past two days, the UC football team got the chance to measure their improvement over the past five weeks of training. They went through a series of strength tests to see how far they have come since they got back from the Sugar Bowl. Well, it's, I mean, it's very important because number one, it's the whole, I mean, the whole year is in phases. You have the winter, then you go into the spring with the, with the good testing at the end of, end of the winter. That prepares them to go into the spring. It goes into the spring with a lot of confidence, with a very high confidence level. I think it's important because you have some kids that look at it in a way where they think the season's so far away, when really it's not. It's right around the corner. And everything they do, every day it matters, whatever they're doing, whether it's stretching, lifting, running, or some kind of a speed or agility drill. So we're always trying to show progress and show them that what we're doing is going to help them be a better athlete. Vertical jump, bench press, broad jump, and squats were among the activities that were tested. And unlike the final exams these guys will see in a couple of weeks, they actually like the test they took this week. It boosts your confidence and it makes you want to work harder knowing that you have uh, done doing weight that you have never done before, you know, putting putting 500 on my back and, and, and putting 400 on the bench and stuff like that. Like that's just, I mean, everybody in the nation might do it, but for me to reach that is, is, a, is a very big accomplishment. Uh, this time we got to uh, actually max out and uh, lift as much as we could. Um, it was it was fun because everybody got you know hyped up and energetic for it. You know, it built team, uh, chemistry. Each day of testing provided for an electric atmosphere as the team cheered each other on through every test taken. Once again, proving that the off-season workout is as much about building a team as it is about building strength. If we all compete against each other, then we're going to compete even harder against the teams and all the opponents that we're facing the next season. You know, and I mean, again, it's togetherness. It's a great team. Like we will be a great team in the 2010 season. What we're really trying to do is develop a mentally tough, physically tough athlete, and we're trying to make these guys bond together as a team. If we can do that at this point, it carries on through the year till we get to the season, to where it really, really, really counts when we're out there on the field of battle, or on the field playing the game and they can pull together and win the, win the games. Yeah, to know that your team's behind you, you know, when you're uh, lifting, it's a good feeling, you know, just to have that team chemistry, that brotherhood, you know, going on. That, that definitely helps in November. When, when it's fourth down and, and we're, we're, we're at West Virginia, you know, I know that guy next to me is going to work just as hard as I am for, for that extra inch that we need to get the win. Well, the biggest thing is, as Coach Jones talks about, he talks about a family. Talks about being a family, and what we tell our guys, we expect the best effort out of them every single day, 100% effort, and they're going to get the same out of us. They're going to get very intense coaches, a coach technique, and then always pushes them to become better. And the biggest thing is, is about being a family, and everybody's putting in 100% effort every day. Hey,